Good evening YouTube, it's Hannah from Smaugish here and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to do a birthday haul, what I got for my birthday today, because it was my birthday last week. On the 1st of May I turned... <sighs> I turned 29, so I am one year left in my 20s. Uh, but before I show you all the cool stuff that I got for my birthday from my very generous friends and family, please do like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below. So without further ado, let's see what I got for my 29th birthday. So the first thing I'm going to say, which is probably quite obvious, is that you can see well, you can see me a lot better. The lighting is a lot better and that's because I don't want to show you because I don't want to blind you. So instead I'll show you the case. Pete got me a Niwa. Is it Niwa? I think it's Niwa. Um, like a mini portable proper light. Like this thing is like a proper light. Um, which I'm currently using to uh, light up my videos so this should hopefully help me I want to get back to like blogging and stuff so this should help me with doing photos for that but also it should help me with the lighting for my videos and so it came in this carry case but it also came with a tripod which it's currently on and I haven't had a play around with any of the settings because I've got various settings and stuff but uh yeah it's really really good and I am so so grateful and it was such a good present. The other thing that he got me that is like YouTube-y, I'm gonna struggle to show you this actually because it's huge but it's like a backdrop. It has like a zombie hand on it and stuff and it says, you can see the bottom of it, like zombies eat flesh, go viva, no, sorry, zombies eat flesh, go vegan, viva la vegan. So that's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna take it with me. I don't know how I would like put it up at the moment in here, but I'm gonna take it with me to uni um, because I've got something else for my birthday, which is also gonna be a backdrop so I can like chop and change the backdrop depending on what kind of video I'm doing. So yeah, that was really, really good. And he also got me two vegan um, like baking kit, like mixes. And we tried one, we tried a chia and cacao brownies because my my step niece was over this weekend so she helped me bake some chia cacao brownies they're really good and I've also got I think they're like flaxseed and mulberry muffins or something so they're to be done next but yeah really good um, and he got me a little pin batch I'm just gonna like show things as I come to them really um, so I'm a big Game of Thrones fan um, if I seem a bit out of it, it's because I've just watched season eight, episode four. Like I, I'm, I'm equal parts heartbroken and confused. So yeah, um, but I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So my brother and sister-in-law got me this amazing Game of Thrones throw from Primark. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like all the different sigils on it. So it's got, um, I think all of the great houses yeah it's got the the Greyjoy Kraken the Lannister Lion the Tyrell Flower the Martell Spear and Sun the Baratheon like Deer uh, the Targaryen Dragon obviously and the Stark Wolf it doesn't have like any of the, the Tully or the Arryn things that's cool so yeah this looks really snuggly, so I'm gonna take this with me to uni. And in my room, so in my studio flat, um, I should have like a little, I'll have like a desk chair, but I should also have like a um, like armchair -y sort of beanbag thing. So I'm gonna put this on there to make it a little bit more cozy because I've got my Hufflepuff blankets for my bed. So yeah, yeah, that's really good. And it's so, so fleecy and soft, which will come in handy in the really cold, north so yeah another present from my brother and sister-in-law and this kind of made me a little bit cry a little bit it's a stanley funko pop and he's got the infinity gauntlet i don't know where i'm gonna put this i have to put it somewhere pride of praise because he's like the king of marvel and things so yeah 
but that's so nice and it looks it's so cool it's a Funko custom so I don't know if that just like a custom run of them that they made but yeah it's so cool they also got me and I've burnt a stick of this already it smells amazing this box of wicker ritual incense um I don't actually know what like what herbs it's got or what um scent it is and it's really nice like a sort of vaguely floral sort of soft scent it's really nice I burnt a stick of it earlier um yeah so that's really cool they also got me a um abalone shell kit so this is a smaller abalone shell than the one i've got on my altar at the moment but that's cool that's going to be on the other side um i like balance and it also came with like cedar and copal resin so there's resin and it came with a white sage smudge stick um and a feather so the feather is really good because i need something on my altar to signify air so the feather is going to be my air signal um so yeah that's a really cool little bundle and this is the coolest thing so in here is a wand so it's wrapped up with this gorgeous silver ribbon and it's got this silver tip um and it's completely uncharged and ready so i'm gonna wait for a uh, full moon probably the next full moon and, and then I'll cleanse it and then I'll charge it overnight. Um, and yeah, that's really cool. It's like, um, somehow I think because it was like given to me by family and I'm quite like a half and her sort of half and family sort of, which I think that's gonna give it some really good power. So yeah, that was such a thoughtful, thoughtful present and so, so cool. This is a cool little thing that was from my dogs. Um, it's a little Bulbasaur. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to put some kind of tiny little shrubbery in there so it looks like a Bulbasaur with this plant. So you can use it as like just a trinket pot. But it's so cute! Yeah, it's so cute. This is something that my dad accidentally gave away that I was getting. <laughs> it's a Wolf Spain travel mug by Grindstore. I saw this range at London Edge and I was like, like then, so this is like in January, I was like, I need a Wolfsbane travel mug um, and it's a really good, really good size, feels really sturdy um, and inside what's cool is it has like a, I don't we call this, but like filtery thing. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to get myself the matching like water bottle. I don't know whether I'm going to get a Wolfsbane water bottle or if I'll get a different one because I do lots of different like poisons and things. Um, but I just, I love the fact that I've got Will Spain travel mug. That is perfect. I'm gonna get a Will Spain tattoo over the summer. So yeah, um, this is kind of silly, but cool. I got a load of Marvel stickers. <laughs> yep, loads of Marvel stickers. And these are dragon stickers to go on my wall with my bats. Um, it says that they're dinosaurs, like on the packaging, it says dinosaurs. They're definitely dragons, right? Like, we can all agree that they're definitely dragons. I got a toothless. This is a little toothless. Even though he's got teeth, but toothless does actually have teeth. They just kind of like retract, so that's fine. So, little toothless boy just sit on my bed. Got lots of Funko Pops because I think people know that like I collect Funko Pops, so it's such a, a good thing to get because I love them. So I got three Harry Potter ones. I got Dobby. I've been after Dobby for ages and I finally got Dobby. Dobby is one of my favourites. Probably my favourite non-human character in the books and films. So I've got Dobby. I got Mad-Eye Moody, who is pretty damn cool. I like his eye. Like his eye is so cool. Um, I got Lord Voldemort. Yeah, he's cool. I like how grumpy he looks. He's like really grumpy. I'm gonna have to go and put him next to Bellatrix and I don't know how he's gonna feel about that, but she'll be happy. And then this is a non Harry Potter one, but this is one I, I saw it quite recently and I was like, I need that Funko. It's Rita Repulsa. Rita Refukin Pulsa, yeah. I was such a huge Power Rangers fan when I was a kid and I love Rita Repulsa so much. So I'm so glad that I have her. She can join, you can see me uh, yellow Power Rangers over my shoulder. She can join them there. Um, this is the other thing I was talking about that I could, you know, use 
as a sort of decorative thing um, and it's this really awesome like tapestry type thing let me just you see it's palmistry and it's got all the bits on it and it's got moons and the sun and it's just so cool and it's so big and I saw this on Amazon and so my dad was like yeah it's on her Amazon list so thank you very much that was awesome I got a book that I wanted and this is kind of for my master's degree but also I I just it's one of those things that I, I feel like I should own anyway and it's The Lair of the White Worm and The Lady of the Shroud by Bram Stoker um, Bram Stoker is one of my favourite authors. I just finished rereading Dracula for the first time in a couple of years and I forgot how good it was. Like I forgot how much I loved it and I fell in love with it again. And I've always wanted to read The Lair of the Right Worm but I've never got round to it. And The Lady of the Shroud as well which is kind of like a pseudo vampire tale. Like it's, it is a vampire tale but it's not really a vampire tale anyway so I'm looking forward to reading those. I have a big list of things to get through though because I'm doing a short course at the British Library that starts next week um, and I've got a few things on like the reading list that I need to read before that starts. Um, but I've read the first thing and I also want to read the book that the person that's leading the course wrote because I met her at the Polidori talk that I went to and she's really cool and yeah so got lots of things to read first but then I would definitely be reading that. This I thought was really cool this is um just a dress from Amazon but it's just like a strappy dress and it's like green and black sort of tartan I just thought that would be really cool for layering over mesh tops or black long sleeve black t-shirts um or in the summer with leggings or tights or something so, uh, this is kind of a bit random, but my parents went to the Mary Quant um, exhibition at the v &A, and I collect postcards, that's one of my little random things. So they got me a selection of postcards um, from the Mary Quant exhibition, I think you would call it an exhibition. So, I mean, they're really cool, but um, 60s fashion is not really my thing, but these are really cool, so. And also they got me these sort of vintage style 1960s-ish earrings which are very much my style I do like a big hoop so yeah they're really cool oh Charlie and Joe also got me this Taurus your year sort of 15 month forecast um which I'm gonna look through and have a flip through because it has you know specific stuff that if you're you know your different ascendants so I'm gonna have a look through that. Joe and Charlie also got me two new things, two more things I should say. They got me Aquaman on DVD. I actually haven't seen this um but yeah it's Jason Momoa so kind of I'm very happy to own this because it's Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. And they got me this really cool book which is The Witch's Journal. Um, and it's got like lots of different um, information on different things which is really cool so I'm really happy to have that. Thank you Joe and Charlie. Here's something really cool that my parents got me. Um, I used to really be into art, like really into art, um, but one thing I could never master was watercolours. I'm just, I'm not like, I don't have enough finesse and stuff. Um, but my parents got me these, which is a set of watercolour brush pens. So it comes with a, like, if you can see there, that's actually a water pen. Um, it's like a water brush, so you colour in with the pens and then I guess you use the water brush to get the watercolour effect. I don't know, I'm going to have to have a play around with it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for those. And this is one of the things that I got the most excited about. and. I'm going to take it to uni, but I'm going to go and have a play with it now because I've been waiting to film this video. It's only the 50 pack of Crayola Super Tip Pens. Look at how many colours there are. Like, it is the 50 pack! The 50! I'm so happy about this. I love stationery. I love felt pens this had me like squealing like a little child so I can't wait to test 
pop out all the colours and just be the happiest I've been in a while. I completely forgot to get this when I started filming, but I got a Hufflepuff robe dressing gown. This thing is so soft and warm and cozy and it has an amazing hood and it has like a proper like robe sleeves and it's just basically like a fluffy cuddly dressing gown version of my actual Hogwarts Hufflepuff robes and it's perfect and it's gonna be perfect for uni and yeah I'm so happy it's so snuggly it's actually kind of like been too warm to actually like wear it at the moment but I can't wait for it to be cold enough. Mm. So those are the things that I got on my birthday. Um, I was so beyond grateful and happy. I had to go to work on my birthday, got up at quarter past five in the morning, which wasn't fun. But coming home, my dad made me a vegan chocolate birthday cake and I had loads of awesome presents from friends and family. Yes, I was very lucky. I ordered some stuff from Killstar. I kind of treated myself because I got some back plate for something at work. So I've got some things I've been looking at for a while. This is the Eve, I think it's called the Eve dress. So it has like the lace up front and it has the really cool like rose and thorns pattern and it's a really nice sort of soft, super stretchy jersey material. So it actually like is quite forgiving and I wore it, we went out for dinner on Saturday because obviously my birthday was on a Wednesday. No one wanted to go out, so we went out for dinner on Saturday and I wore it and it was super comfy. I actually think it looks really good. So that's the first thing I got from Killstar. The second thing I got from Killstar, and luckily I left the tag on this because I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called, the Mila Maxi Skirt. So this is from their Basics range um, and it's just a long black maxi skirt that kind of has a bit of a like asymmetric fishtaily effect at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of flares out at the bottom. Um, and it has a super sturdy, super, it's stretchy, but it's also like really like firm waistband, which I really like because it means I like to wear things quite high waisted. Um, and this, this works really well for that. Um, and I've really wanted one of these for a while, like a skirt like this for a while, to go with my more sort of, I guess, Victorian tops because I struggle to wear them because I don't know what to, to put them with. So I thought this actually, I'm envisioning this with one of my Victorian types of blouse things and one of my corset belts. I think that would look really good. The last thing I bought myself from Killstar was one of the creatures I got myself. The vampire. He's so cute. He's so cute. And the problem is now I've got him, I kind of feel like I need to get more of them. So I kind of want, I think I want the Behemoth next, which is the newest one that they released, but yeah, he's so cute. And then today, my aunt and uncle very kindly gave me, so my aunt um, gave me a £15 voucher for New Look, and my uncle gave me some money, so I thought I would go, like some cash, so I thought I'd go and spend it today in New Look. So I bought... It's a bit different for me, but I thought I'd try it. I've been looking at it for a while. And it's like a, um, it's kind of like a scoobery material, but it's like a dog's, do you call this dog's tooth or hound's tooth? So it's like a skirt, but it has like a sort of pin for effect. Um, and it's ruffled. I actually thought this would be really good for work, but I also kind of, it almost feels a bit Lolita, um, which I'm not a massive fan of Lolita, but I tried this on and I actually really liked how it looked. So I thought, yep, yeah, gonna get that. And the other thing I got, with my birthday money is again something I've been looking at in your look for a while and it is just a plain old black denim jacket. Um, I tried it on, it's really comfy. Um, I've got a massive ghost back patch that I'm gonna put on the back and I'm gonna put some of my Miss Kamluna Curiology and Spooky Bottles Club pins on it and yeah really good so those are all the things that i got for my birthday and with my birthday money i also made a cheeky little order with exo umbra clothing and i can't wait for that to come and i will show you when it comes but yeah that is what i got so i'm very very grateful 
and I had a, I had a pretty good day um, and I had a really nice meal with my family at the weekend so yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to click that like button to show me that you liked it hit subscribe if you don't think I'm particularly annoying and I hope to see you in my next video bye